Now that we've launched our show, let's go ahead and patch our lights. If you're not familiar, patching in a lighting console is simply the process of assigning your lights, of saying, okay, you know, we've got these lights, we need to give them DMX addresses, well, let's go do it. And in most modern consoles, uh, it makes more sense to do it on the console end first, including Onyx. Uh, the console spits out addresses for you, and then you can enter them into the lights. So let's have a look at patching our first fixtures. We're gonna go ahead into Onyx and press patch. Next, the easiest way to do this is commands new fixture because this brings up a wizard that's gonna walk you through everything. Okay, here's the fixture library. Everything you need uh, is probably in here, but if it's not, you can go to the support.obsidian control website, request it, and I gotta tell you, I request a lot of fixtures from a lot of consoles uh, with the work that I do, and the Onyx team is one of the best in terms of speed. Uh, they promise a, uh, I believe, a three business day turnaround. It's typically faster than that. Again, you know, everybody gets busy. Sometimes there's busier times, um, but other consoles, you're waiting weeks or months, so that's insane. Um, there are a lot of fixtures in here. First, I just want to look at the generics. That's the first manufacturer that it defaults to. You have things like channel for an individual dimmer channel, and it shows you the DMX layout here. There's also fixtures for LEDs. So if you've got like an LED fixture that isn't listed in Onyx, but it's just something simple, you know, a lot of the times these are an intensity channel, a channel for each of the colors, and that's it, maybe a strobe channel. Maybe it's just a channel for each of the colors. You can find those in generic. So like if I go to R, for example, I'm gonna see RGB and then a dimmer, RGB channel. Um, in fact, there's even more of these. They, they moved them around in a recent uh, version. And uh, if you go to generic fixtures, you go down to R, I believe. Yeah, you get RGB. No, that's not the one. I am looking for, oh, generic colors. I apologize. It, it was one way for a long time and then it changed. Um, so you go to R, you've got RGB, RGBA, RGBAW, so many options there. Generic PARs are generally gonna be able to be found there. Uh, for this example, let's just go ahead. I'll go to my history. This shows me the last things that I have uh, gone ahead and patched. And we're gonna go ahead and just patch uh, something that we like here. These Inno Pocket Z4s, they're a fun little fixture. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna leave them in 22 channel mode. It shows you every mode. It shows you what the channels do. And I'm gonna press auto patch. This is where you let the Onyx know how many of these you want. So I can just click and type an eight here, for example, if I want eight. I can also use the plus and minus. Um, typing numbers on Onyx is via the number pad if you're on a PC or console. If you're on a PC and you use the numbers over the keyboard, it will not work because those numbers are for numbers in names, in labels, okay? Then we have the ID. This is the fixture number that you type in Onyx while you're programming. I like to start my first set of fixtures at 101. Uh, if I have dimmers, they'll be one, then 201, etc. Starting at an 01 every time means that you're always going to uh, be able to look left to right of the fixture and go, oh, that's my 100 series, that fixture's the third, it's 103, etc. Okay, that's my 300 series, that fixture is the first, 301. Instead of just letting them start at one and go down, I definitely highly recommend customizing the, the fixture IDs. Next, universe and address, you can leave them in automatic or set a manual universe and address, but we'll leave it automatic now, hit apply, bum -ba -da bum and we watch it happen. Now this is actually a really great example because I got the unassigned channels pop-up, which is like a big question that we get from people. They see this, they say, what is this thing? Okay, um, and what happens here is sometimes you patch a light where there's a channel like color change fade speed, where the team that made the profiles uh, in Onyx said, well, you could put that for this example in color, but some people are gonna wanna put this in beam effects. So where do you put it? Well, you put it where you want to, and that's what this pop-up does. You just go, okay, I want that in color. I select it on the left here. I press the arrow, I press apply, and now you'll never see that pop-up again. If you don't do that, you will see that pop-up every time you start up the console or load the show. So do assign it somewhere or else it's just gonna annoy the living daylights out of you. Let's patch a generic RGB fixture next because I wanna show you something else that you're gonna see a lot. 
So if we go commands new fixture, this time generic colors, and now let's just do RGBAW, okay? Simple profile, red, green, blue, amber, white. Now, in some consoles, with a profile like this, if you put that light in this five channel mode, you would not have a control of the overall master intensity or dimming of that light. And especially when you go to use effects and things like that, it's really helpful to have a master intensity control. So in other consoles, again, you'd have to hope your fixture had a mode with a dimmer channel and then find a profile that matched. In Onyx, there's no reason to do that as with a lot of other professional grade consoles. There's a feature called Virtual Dimmer. It will show up right here if it's available and it's gonna be available for your fixture if Onyx sees that there are color channels but no intensity channel. That triggers it and brings this up. Virtual Dimmer goes on. Now you've created your own dimmer channel. It's not in the DMX specification for the mode, but it's gonna control the master dimmer because the console can figure it out. So let's go ahead patch four of these guys by the way you can name your lights so like maybe these are like thin par or some some generic par right and so if I name this thin par and I do four and I put them at a 401 leave everything else the same boom they get patched naming wise they're thin par one through whatever and uh, it's got the fixture type the D in parentheses there shows us that it's a virtual dimmer uh, but we see all our universes and addresses. Take note of these. And this is what you put into your fixture to make sure it responds. However, you can also see them here in the fixture screen. If you mouse over, you see that there? I get a pop-up that has the DMX address slash universe on it. Nice and simple. All right. Now, this wraps up patching, so let's hop into our next video. We're going to have an optional video where we're going to have a free 3D, visual, 3D visualizer file you can use to help learn here in Onyx. Thanks.